As the air turns crisper and leaves paint the landscape in hues of red, orange, and gold, we joyfully welcome the arrival of autumn. This is the season that beckons us to embrace its warm coziness and relish in its unique charm. To celebrate this magical season, we bring out cozy blankets and fluffy pillows, infusing our homes with warmth and comfort. We embellish our mantles and tables with harvest arrangements, carved pumpkins, and the ever-popular pumpkin spice candles. The sound of crackling fireplaces and the taste of freshly baked apple pies fill the air, transforming our homes into havens of coziness. Autumn, with its enchanting colors and soothing ambiance, offers us the perfect opportunity to embrace the spirit of togetherness and find solace in the simple joys of life. If you watch enough YouTube videos, it's easy to get caught up in all of the fall and Christmas hauls that ladies like to show here on YouTube. And while there's nothing wrong with going out and buying stuff, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, things like that for the season, sometimes you'll find yourself chasing trends instead of finding things for your home that are just classic, things that you can use every year and they never go out of style. Because I'll admit, when I first started watching YouTube, I got caught up in all that stuff too. So when I started creating videos, I would do the same thing. And then I realized, what am I doing? I'm chasing trendy stuff. So every year you have to buy something new because something new pops up at Hobby Lobby or something new pops up at Target or Michaels and you're always wanting the next new thing, which costs a lot of money. So I really pared down all of my fall decor just to items that are classic, items that I am in love with. And also I bring a lot of elements in from outdoors like this. This is off of our magnolia tree that we have in the backyard. We actually have about three or four of them. And I just let this dry. I did this last year and I have a couple of them and I think they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. Now you could buy something like this from Pottery Barn. Um, these are gonna be very brittle because this is real. But yeah, I just let it dry and I just put these in a vase. To me, this is more beautiful than buying anything faux. I will say, if you go to Hobby Lobby, just steer clear of the faux flowers. Buy the dried. The dried, to me, are gorgeous. They're beautiful. They never go out of style. They're real. They're just dried. When it comes to my pumpkin decor, I have some Pottery Barn pumpkins. I've had these maybe four or five years. I found these on clearance on Pottery Barn's website. They're classic. They're beautiful. They are, I believe, blown glass. So even if you put a little money into something like this and you buy it from Pottery Barn, this is something you could look at year after year. So if you're going to spend money on something, spend it on items that are well made that you think you can look at year after year and always look for holiday and seasonal items when they're out of season. That's how I found all of these on clearance on Pottery Barn's website. So that is another great tip to save money. That way you're not spending so much money season after season.
While the centerpiece I'm using in my foyer isn't exactly what you would call a piece of fall decor, I think it's a great neutral piece that can easily blend with any season. I purchased the paper mache bowl from Pottery Barn because I didn't want to create one this large for myself and I found this on clearance months and months ago. While I loved the shape of it and the size of it, I didn't like the pink hue it had, so I used some paint to make it just a little bit more beige. And I lined the center of the bowl with some brown paper just to give it some height. And then I hot glued some moss rocks I had left over from a failed DIY project, along with tucking some Spanish moss into the crevices just to give it a little bit of dimension. I found this gorgeous Kilim Ottoman footstool at a yard sale for $5 along with a beautiful oriental rug. Both of them they sold to me for $5 a piece and I love this but the integrity of it isn't the best because it was broken and I had to fix it. So I really don't want anyone sitting on it just in case it may break. The colors scream autumn, the beautiful rust and orange. Of course, this is going to stay in my foyer year round, but I thought placing some books on here along with a little wooden bowl and maybe some faux pumpkins and hopefully Hank doesn't take a hankering to them and take them out of the bowl. But little things like this, I will enjoy year round and just add little touches of the season on top of it like with a wooden bowl and the little pumpkins.
I love styling my coffee bar for whatever season it is at the moment. And in the past, I have over styled it <laughs> with things that just made it clutter. It didn't make it look curated. It didn't make it look layered. So that's what I want to do for fall. I do have some items that I want to put on my coffee bar. I found this three piece set of blue and white containers. I believe it is Blue Onion. I don't remember the exact name of the maker of this, but this is sugar, instant coffee, and creamer. Made in Japan, vintage. So gorgeous. I actually purchased these um, on Macari from a seller. I believe I received all three pieces for $15 plus the shipping. I love this little set. Now, I'll probably never put sugar instant coffee or creamer <laughs> in any of these but i do want to put these on there and i also have a silver tray that i want to use i love when you can contain things i think it just looks better when you have a plate a tray a box something that everything can sit in that way you can have a lot on the counter but it doesn't look like you have a lot on the counter there is just enough space for me to hang a couple of pieces of artwork. I found these at my local antique store. It is called Boxwood. It is so amazing. These are made in Italy and I purchased both of them for $8. While this isn't exactly fall, what I'm thinking of or the look or feel I'm going for my coffee bar is just cozy. I just want it to look very cozy curated and layered. I am very visual and I need a blank canvas before I can ever start styling or decorating anything. So cleared off the coffee bar. I do have a large ice maker. We only use this when company comes over. We have, you know, larger events. So I think I am going to relocate that to the counter beside of the refrigerator just to give me more space on the coffee bar. these beautiful dried florals the gorgeous orange I want to put a pop of orange over there but I want to put these in a vase I do have a beautiful glass vase that I picked up from boxwood you're going to hear me talk a lot about boxwood antique store it is amazing but I do have a beautiful crystal vase to put these in and I think it's going to add just the right pop of orange just to give it that fall feel And to fill in some of the little bare spots, I'm going to add this beautiful red eucalyptus, also from Hobby Lobby. I think they are the best things you can get from Hobby Lobby for fall or any season, the dried florals.
I spent $15 on everything we picked up today. Um, a couple of these items are not for the coffee bar. They are candles. I love picking up candles at the thrift store. I don't like to buy candles brand new if I can help it, especially when some like a Bath and Body Works cost $25. This was $2. It is Seaside, I believe. And this one is vanilla sandalwood and it was $2. Now this one has been burnt just a little bit but it smells so good and there's still so much left in this. Check your thrift stores for items like this because you're gonna save so much money on candles just by checking out what they have. And like I said, even if it's been just burnt a little bit, there's still quite a bit left here for $2. I found the little lampshade because at the thrift store um, a few weeks ago, I found this beautiful blue and white lamp. I think it's gonna make a great addition on the coffee bar, just like a little night light at nighttime. And I also wanna put out some syrups for everyone to enjoy when they come over. So I found this little stand. I was looking for more brass items because I do like mixing metals. Couldn't find anything. So I found this very beautiful, it has little feet on there so it'll sit up just a little bit it was two dollars and this is what is going to hold the two syrups that i purchased and i have a candle i want to put on my coffee bar it's a pillar candle so it's not in its own container and i found this little bowl pedestal bowl i guess you would call it for three dollars i love going to the thrift store before i ever go anywhere else to find things to style my home now you can't find everything at the thrift store i know that sometimes you do have to shop retail but by going to the thrift store, it, it not only stretches your dollar and you don't spend a lot of money when you go to the thrift store like you would retail, but it also makes you stretch your creativity and just thinking outside the box. So in my opinion, go to the thrift store, look at an item and say, okay, it was meant for this, but how could I use it in my home for something else? I have pumpkin spice and cinnamon I also want to put on the coffee bar, but I don't wanna just leave it in the containers they came in. So I found these little salt shakers. I have some cinnamon in one of these by my stove that I use quite often, but I wanna put a couple at the coffee bar where I'm gonna have the syrups for everyone to enjoy. And I wanna put a candle over there. I do have some, um, the one I have that I'm gonna put out there is a pillar candle. Also thrifted it at the thrift store for a dollar or two. Since it is a pillar candle, it's not in its own container. So I found this little glass pedestal bowl for $3. I love going to the thrift store before I ever go retail to find items. Now you won't find everything you're looking for at the thrift store, obviously, but that's when you have to use your creativity. You really have to think outside the box and look at things and say, okay, it was meant for this, but could I use it for that? I also want to put a little piece of artwork over there. So I have this frame, this was $1. And I have a piece of artwork that I purchased from eBay. There's an artist on there that makes these little paintings. This was like three or $4. And I bought it because it has a blue and white base and the beautiful flowers all around it. I think it'll look really great on there. Just place it right beside the coffee maker and then later on maybe put another piece of artwork with it. As I mentioned, I don't want a cluttered look, but I do want a very curated and layered look to the coffee bar.
me now to Summerfield. Summerfield, the city of homes, nestling like a pearl in the golden setting of the autumn countryside. Trees. Trees are one of the loveliest features of this lovely little town. Shimmering poplars, stately elms, giant maples lining the quiet streets. And as they turn from crimson to gold, the leaves come drifting down. <laughs> 